Hello, my name's Alexis Sargent. I'm a founder of 4G On Solutions. We're here at CBIT 2015, Europe's largest technology show. I'm uh, joined here with uh, Dr. Hines, who's uh, the CEO and president of uh, Lightpoint. Uh, how are you finding the show? Oh, the show is great. Um, we have been to this show now, I think, uh, for 15 years now. The uh, show has changed. Uh, uh, but uh, this year uh, it becomes much more professional, which is great. Uh, and uh, we are hoping for a very, very good show. Oh, excellent. Uh, perhaps you can just give a, a quick introduction to, to Lightpoint and a, maybe a, a quick overview of your product portfolio. Yeah, Lightpoint, we started um, a long time ago, uh, 1998. And we focused initially on high capacity point to point solutions based on free space optics. That's a technology that uses laser light to communicate. Right? And then over the years, we also migrated into other technologies. Our focus is still only on high capacity point to point solutions. So we are not in the business of several megabit per second. So our solutions um, run at gigabit Ethernet speed or faster. Right? and nothing slower, and we use multiple uh, frequency bands these days. Uh, one of them is right in front of us here, and that is an introduction that we do this year at CBIT, and this is a 60 gigahertz system, that's a V-band system, and then we also uh, sell uh, E-band systems, which is a slightly even higher frequency range, 70, 80 gigahertz, where you can go somewhat longer distances. Oh, cool. So this, uh is this a new product? For this, is a, this is a brand new product that uh, we introduced at this show. So we are right now here at CBIT and there's another show in the United States. So we are based in the United States and there's a Las Vegas show which at the same time we release this product too. And this is a, a little small 60 gigahertz system. Um, it's meant for short distance interconnects. So if you have two buildings that you need to interconnect. Uh, you put one system on one side, one on the other side, and uh, you can communicate over distances, few hundred meters, 500 meters or so with this system. And um, other applications for this systems are in the, in, in the carrier space, ISP space. So everywhere where you need to have high capacity over short distance, this is a, a good, way, good way to go. And it is unlicensed in most parts of Europe. Um, and uh, which is another benefit, of course, uh, because you don't have to go through any complex, complicated licensing process. And uh, so, yeah, the system uh, has a little lens antenna. Inside there is a radio modem uh, that generates a signal. And um, on the bottom you have some network connectors, so it's very easy to connect to the network. It comes with a network management system, a standard web browser, and um, runs also SNMP. And what is unique about the way we look at this product is that most companies look at 60 gigahertz and they say, well, it's for very short distance interconnects. Mm -hmm. right? And there are some reasons to look at it from that point of view, but when you take this approach, then you try to make the system as small as possible. So this is kind of this approach to make it pretty small. Right? Yeah. But then again, uh, you cannot transmit very far. The same system comes with a one-foot antenna, which is a little bit bigger than the small antenna, but that gives you some additional gain, and also with a two-foot antenna. Right? Yeah. And at that point, uh, you can go distances in excess of one kilometer easily with such a system. And this is, uh, in, in, in this sense, not just a 60 gigahertz product, it's more of a product line that we introduce. I was um, perhaps just going to ask, obviously we're a distributor in, in the UK, is there any particular one of these products that um, sells better in that, in that market, in the UK market? Well, the, the UK market is uh, interesting because uh, the regulator in the, in, in, in the UK has opened uh, opportunities for resellers in quite a few uh, frequency band. So there was always a standard optical frequency band that we provide for very short distance interconnects. But then uh, the UK regulator also followed the North American V-band 60 gigahertz regulation. So it's on a unlicensed, uh, 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 there's an unlicensed band arrangement from 57 to 64 gigahertz and you can use these systems in the UK. In addition, uh, the UK operator also uh, signed up for a process called light licensing in the event arena. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to pay, like in Germany, uh, thousands of uh, euros to get the license, but uh, the UK regulator followed uh, a strategy that also United States and Australia, for example, have implemented, where you can do a very simple registration mm -hmm. 
of an E-band system and then uh, you will get a license and that is very, very inexpensive. I think it's about 50 pounds or so in, in, the, in the UK right now. Right? Excellent. Okay. Well, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Hines. It's been a, a, pleasure. a pleasure. Thank you very thank much. Thank you for stopping by. Bye-bye.